Greetings of peace and thanks for tuning in. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. So in these videos we prepare for the coming of Imam Mehdi as well as the second coming of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon them also known as the Mashiachs in the Jewish tradition. So in this video we're going to be looking at the rightly guided and the law of protection. Now it seems to me like in this day and age um, there's more corruption that's going on and it just seems to be uh, as the days go on the corruption seems to increase and more difficult to live uh, in these times and I think this is all by design to help us prepare for the coming of Imam Mehdi as well as the second coming of Jesus peace and blessings be upon him and we have some hadiths here and some Quran verses to help us understand how to be rightly guided and the law of protection. So the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, A disagreement will occur at the death of a caliph, and a man of the people of Medina will come flying forth to Mecca. Some of the people of Mecca will come to him, bring him out against his will, and swear allegiance to him between the corner and the maqam. An expeditionary force will then be sent against him from Syria, but will be swallowed up in the desert between Mecca and Medina. Then the people will see that the eminent will see that, and the eminent saints of Syria and the best people of Iraq will come to him and swear allegiance to him between the corner and the maqam. So, as we can see here from this hadith, that there's going to be uh, a lot of turmoil. There's going to be a lot of um, you know disputes going on, uh, changing of the guard. So and armies will be sent against the Mehdi, so very important for us to be rightly guided and to have protection of Allah at the highest levels. So in another hadith here it says, In the end time my Ummah will undergo very hard affliction like never before, so that man cannot find any way out. Then Allah will appear a person from my progeny, that is my albate, who will fill the earth with justice as it was filled with injustice. The inhabitants of the earth and the inhabitants of the heavens love him. The sky will bring down its water everywhere and the earth will bring all what it can offer and will become green all over. So as we can see from this hadith that things will become more difficult you know at the end of uh, the Ummah in the time of Imam Mehdi. Um, so another reason for us to have to be more rightly guided and to seek the, the protection of Allah, the unique creator of all that exists. So, it's important for us to understand um, that all this is occurring to help bring about uh, Islam uh, on this earth, to help bring about the rightly guided Khalifa, Imam Mehdi, uh, and Jesus, peace and blessings be upon them, um, in the end times. So, and upon, so we're going to go with some Quran verses to help us understand the importance of being rightly guided and the law of protection. So, upon Allah relies the responsibility, responsibility of leading to the right path. So, Allah says in chapter 16, verse 9, And because He is our Creator, upon Allah lies the responsibility of leading to the right path. For there are some paths deviating from the right and moderate course, and so they lead astray. And if he enforced his will, he would have guided you all. So it's important for us to understand that, you know, Allah, Allah is responsible for guiding us, that we should seek Allah's guidance. Um, and, and then we have to want it. We need, there's a free will and cause and effect universe. So, you know, we need to seek Allah's guidance. Um, and the best way that I found is within the Quran. A lot, I have never come anything on this earth that it has more guidance than is, that's in within the Quran. So he who has gone astray can do you no harm, provided you are rightly guided. So Allah says in chapter five, verse one o five, O O you who believe, take care of yourselves, for upon you is the responsibility of your own selves. He who has gone astray can do you no harm, provided you are rightly guided. Towards Allah is the final return of you all. Then he will inform you as to what you have been doing. So a form of 
protection is to be rightly guided, doing good good deeds to others, uh, you know, prayer, uh, giving charity, protecting your chastity, um, you know, praising the law, being truthful and honest in, in, our, in our words and actions. So all these contribute to being rightly guided and protection as well. So should you obey the majority of those on earth, they would lead you astray from Allah's way. So Allah says in chapter 6, verse 116, Should you obey the majority of those on earth, they would lead you astray from Allah's way. They follow nothing but mere surmise, and they do nothing but make conjectures. So the majority of those on earth are, are not rightly guided. Um, so things like governments like democracy um, are failed systems because they rely on the majority. And ends up that the majority really don't rule in democracies anyways because lobbying politicians is the norm. Um, that should be completely banned uh, outright if you want a true democracy that, that the people actually uh, rule then there can't be no form of lobbying because that circumvents uh, the voting system and democracy in itself so um, it's a failed system and obviously the Khalifa system that Allah prescribes in the Quran is a putting you know rightly guided uh, individual who will establish the laws of Allah uh, in the universe and um, has the right capacities to rule as well. So guarding against evil is one of the commandments of Allah so that you may attain eminence. So Allah says in chapter 7 verse 26, O children of Adam, we have given you a raiment that covers your nakedness and is a source of your elegance and protection. Yet the raiment that guards against evil, that is the best of robes. That is one of the commandments of Allah, that, so that they may attain eminence. So guarding against evil is the greatest of robes uh, for protection. So as I mentioned before, we live in a cause, a free will, cause and effect universe. So by putting out good deeds, good thoughts, good actions, you know, prayers, charity, uh, being good to others, um, helping the world in the best way that, you know, in your capacity and capabilities that Allah has bestowed upon you um, and on, on us, um, you know, this is, this is going to be the best ways that we can uh, gar uh, attain protection and guarding against evils is, is a major one. There will be corruption in the land if you, O Muslims, do not help one another. So Allah says in chapter 8, verse 73, And as for those who disbelieve, they are friends one to another. Hence, if you, O Muslims, do not act as has been ordained for you to help one another, there will be persecution and great corruption in the land. So it's very, you know, Allah says, that the believers are like, uh, you know, we're, we're like in a brotherhood and a sisterhood. Uh, we're brothers one to another. And it's very important to help each other. That, you know, one of the reasons, that's one of the reasons why I make these videos is that I might not have, you know, a lot of money to give, but um, I can help with the knowledge that Allah has bestowed upon me and, you know, spread these videos far and wide to, um, you know, help people attain uh, eminence to help obtain guidance um, and protection by the will of Allah. Allah, the only real protecting friend. So Allah says in chapter 2, verse 107, Do you not know that to Allah alone belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and that you have, apart from Allah, neither a protecting friend nor a helper? So to realize that Allah has power over all things, and He is the only one who can truly provide protection. And Allah can provide protection in many different ways, uh, seen and unseen. Those who strive to the protection and to the paradise of their Lord. So Allah says in chapter 3, verse 133 through 136, Wing your way to the protection of your Lord and to the paradise whose expanse is as vast as the heavens and the earth. It is prepared for those who become secure against evil. 
those who spend in the cause of Allah in prosperity and adversity, and those who suppress anger and pardon the offenses of the people. And Allah loves such doers of good to others. And those who, when they commit any act of indecency or do injustice to themselves, remember Allah and implore Him for protection against their sins. And who can protect against sins except Allah? And they do not deliberately persist in doing wrong. It is these whose reward is protection from their Lord, and gardens serve with running streams. Therein they shall live forever. How excellent the reward of the painstaking in the right direction. So Allah gave, you, gave us a lot of interesting things to attain uh, protection and paradise. Um, is to, you know, give charity even when you're rich or poor. Um, to suppress our anger and pardon the offenses of the people. You know, Allah loves the doers of good. And to always seek uh, forgiveness from Allah when we do wrong and from others. Um, you know, and, and work and work on our faults and not persist in doing them. So, um, Allah says to seek the protection of Allah and turn to Him. As Allah says in chapter 11, verse 90. And seek protection of your Lord and turn to Him in repentance. For the, my Lord is ever merciful, most loving. So Allah encourages us for protection and turn to Him in repentance when we do, we do wrong. Uh, those who obey Allah and His Messenger and hold Allah in awe and take Him as a shield for protection is they who shall be triumphant. So Allah says in chapter 24, verse 52, And those who obey Allah and His Messenger and hold Allah in awe and take Him as a shield for protection, it is they who shall be triumphant. So we want to be triumphant. And, you know, Allah teaches here for us to obey Allah and His Messenger and hold Allah in awe and take Him as a shield for protection. So we can be triumphant. Those who take Allah as their shield shall be conducted to paradise. So Allah says this in chapter 39, verse 73. And those who took their Lord as a shield will be conducted to paradise in multitudes until when they reach it and its gates are opened to welcome them. And his keepers say to them, Peace be upon you. Be you happy and prosperous. Enter it. You will be abiding therein forever and ever. So seeking protection of Allah uh, is a way to enter into paradise. Those who hold their law, Lord in awe in their heart of hearts, there awaits them protection. So Allah says in chapter 67, verse 12, Verily, as to those who hold their Lord in awe in their heart of hearts, there awaits them protection against lapses and a great reward. So holding Allah in a, in a good state of mind, in, in our hearts, in our minds, and our actions will increase the protection of Allah. And Allah alone is worthy to be taken as a shield, and He alone is most worthy of granting protection. So Allah says in chapter 74, verse 56, But these deniers will not remember it unless Allah so will. He alone is worthy to be taken as a shield, and He alone is most worthy of granting protection. So sometimes, you know, People in general forget that, you know, it is a law that provides protection from the seen and unseen. And he is the most worthy of be taken as a shield. And he is most worthy of granting protection since he has power over all things and is the knower of all things. So very important for us to be rightly guided, especially in these times, to seek the protection of a law to guard against evil, to give in charity, to, to prayer, um, to overlooking other people's faults, to having a good thought and honest of Allah, um, to seek the, you know, Allah, when we do something wrong, to seek the, the re turn to Allah and seek and re uh, repent and uh, seek forgi forgiveness of Allah. These are all ways that Allah grants protection. And very important for us uh, to implement these in this time. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you take Allah as your shield. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. Take care. Peace.